Awareness is the door through which change enters. This poem by John Mark Green is written on a piece of paper that I carry with me daily as a reminder of why I advocate. I've often said that this work of advocacy has a way of finding you. I began my professional career in the United States military. My intent after leaving the Army was to go into corrections. However, that changed one day in Barstow, California when I met a domestic violence advocate. I'm gonna tell you, I was no stranger to domestic violence. I'm gonna tell you, as I sat and listened to this advocate speak passionately about awareness, about support efforts, and about the power of a collective voice when addressing violence against women, that's when the work found me. Fast forward to the present, and I've spent over a decade working with perpetrators and survivors of domestic violence. I've helped provide direct services, I've created programming, and I've helped establish policy to address a wide range of issues experienced by survivors. I'm gonna tell you in this time, I've had the privilege of working with some fierce advocates in this field. Some amazing organizations that do wonderful things for, for survivors in this movement. One of those organizations is the Institute of Community Coordinated Response, or ICCR. ICCR is a program of the Conference on Crimes Against Women and was established in 2018 to address the epidemic of domestic violence in rural Texas. It is my experiences, this program, and the survivors I've worked with that bring me here today to talk to you about the invisible victims of violence, those rural survivors. 177 out of 254 counties in the state of Texas are designated as rural. And I'm gonna tell you that violence in these areas is vastly underreported. Women who experience physical and psychological violence not only do so and carry that trauma with them, but do so with a lack of resources to assist them. Advocacy services in these areas is almost non-existent. And if they do exist, they usually consist of one single program or advocates traveling from neighboring communities to help provide services. It's been my experience that these survivors are often very, very weary of receiving services locally for fear that their confidentiality will be compromised. They understand that anonymity rarely exists in an area where the program staff are your neighbors. Basic health care and mental health services are so difficult to obtain. Oftentimes, survivors will travel up to an hour or more to seek services, causing additional financial burdens on their families, specifically lost wages and travel expenses. Women in these areas who experience violence carry with them not only the psychological and emotional trauma, but they do so with very, very little help. It's been my experience that oftentimes that they stay in these escalating violent relationships, not only feeling shame, but internalizing all the blame, feeling hopeless, helpless, and becoming increasingly more invisible. Advocacy, awareness, and collaboration save lives. It takes individuals willing to sit together, allies in this movement, to have open conversations about some very hard topics. In the words of the poet Jasmine Kaur, scream so that 100 years from now, another sister does not sit drying her tears, wondering where in history she lost her voice. Violence thrives in silence. Each and every one of you is an advocate with the power to spread awareness about domestic violence. And I tell you, now is the time to scream. Thank you very much.